This review is on the movie Dark Web Cicada 3301. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Director for the film Dark Web Cicada 3301 was Alan Richson. Mr. Richson, who portrayed a complete dick, Arjun Carver, in the film Dark Web Cicada 3301. Mr. Richson had enough balls to leave his small town in Florida to find fortune and fame in Hollywood. He has done very well for himself in finding acting parts and staying busy by using all his talents in writing, producing, singing, songwriting, and not to mention directing the film Dark Web Cicada 3301. The film actually starts out with Connor, a guy that is very good with numbers and computer savvy, falling off the side of a building with a giant wall of fire falling him down, with him landing on his back in a patch of soft, wet grass. Sounds like it could be an exciting movie to watch. It was until... Hold it, hold it. Let me continue with the story. Connor is what you call a telepus. A telepus is a person who is very intelligent, near genius, but he continuously talks bullshit. His actions are like a con artist most of the time, and the piece of resistance that surrounds him constantly is he can't keep his shit together because he craves excitement and drama. Okay, the description of the film continues, with Connor is locked out of his apartment because he hasn't paid his rent for weeks. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Besides tending bar, he has been working on a game called Cicada 3301 on the dark web to solve a puzzle using all forms of media for a prize he might or might not receive at an undisclosed location. Being homeless at the time, Connor takes a little neighbor girl to the library for her schoolwork because her mother is always at work and never at home to help her. While Connor is checking out books, he notices Gwyn. The librarian on a monitor, she was working on the same puzzle as he was, Cicada 3301. They made a connection with each other and spent some time at her apartment working on the puzzle. Connor realized they needed some help from his best friend, Avi. A professor at a college helped them solve their next puzzle, which is a part of a Renaissance painting. Little did they know, a group of bad guys from the computer game wanted to kill him or capture him, something, and the government agents... A group of them were following, especially one of them, Agent Carver, the director of the film, was following the newly formed trio to find out who is behind the Dark Web Secret Society's global recruitment game. The film Dark Web Cicada 3301 was fun, exciting, incremental film about a main character who was flawed, trying to solve an almost impossible puzzle. Connor was rough, gruff, tend to go crazy at times when situations reminded him how that his father really was to him was a loyal friend to an extent that is when it was helping his only friend out he would also be helping himself out that's as good as carter could get of being a friend because he was always working the angles and only trusted one person his friend av the film was like watching terminator 2 entertaining animating sensational movie most people enjoy because it took us out of reality for a brief time director for the film dark web cicada 3301 had me in the palm of his hand i was going to give the movie a b or a c plus plus until halfway through the film it grinded down like when you pressed on the brake pedal and hearing that ominous sound of metal grinding Ooh. It was like they didn't know how to end the movie. I don't know what happened. The second half pissed me off. I really didn't like the main character, but I was fascinated with his journey. The director could have done less with the court scenes. They were getting ridiculous, unbelievable, especially when Connor was being so arrogant. They could have shaved off at least 10 minutes off the bullshit stories Connor was telling the court or the hostile dialogue between Connor, the agents, and the judges. Maybe the director was so concerned of what he really wanted to say like he did at the end of the film, he forgot about the second half of the movie. Out of an alphabetic score, I give the film Dark Web Cicada 3301 an A for the first half and a D for the second half, averaging out to a C. Would I recommend this film? Yes, if you are willing to accept the second half drags like cold pancake syrup slowly pouring out of a cold refrigerated plastic bottle into your long-awaited warm pancakes. Thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. Thank you.